Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Macro on here for a new video. Uh, just gonna come at you today with a general discussion. Want to hear your thoughts and opinions on something, and uh, just gonna discuss, you know, general shit that's been going on with me. Gonna be real informal. Probably not gonna do a whole lot uh, on Runescape whilst I'm videoing. So this is more of a podcast. So you can click off this video, uh, like you know, keep it playing, but do whatever it is you want to do. Keep on playing RuneScape. That's how a lot of my vlogs should be anyway. Uh, you can just kind of listening to me um, for entertainment whilst you're playing RuneScape, which is how I kind of like to listen to my own RuneScape vlogs. Well, I don't mean mine personally, I mean other people's, but you know, I, you get what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to come at you today and talk to you about, first of all, where I've been on the game, why I haven't been on a whole lot. I just basically have been real busy with other stuff. I've had training more or less every day and that will kind of continue up until when I go back to sixth form and then it's going to be more or less more fully committed into trying to get into uni, you know, passing my A levels um, for the second year because it's going to get real hard. I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of time to be on this game and I don't at the moment to be honest, but when I do have the time you do kind of had my word that I will get on I will make videos and as you can see I've not lost my motivation I mean that 41 minute video took the piss to make it took the piss I mean if it had got taken down for music copyrights it wouldn't have been too bad uh, I could have just started up the Camtasia and then just get on rid of the audio but it would have been very annoying because it took a whole lot of time to upload a whole lot of time because it was a massive file size, as you can imagine. But uh, I enjoyed making the video. I enjoyed it. It's just, um, I wanted to do a proper guide. None of these guides where it's literally um, guide to 99 hunter. First off, do such and such, and he just tells you what you, what what thing to catch. Because yeah, I suppose that's a guide, but he doesn't tell you. Uh, what you need, where you need to go, how do you get to where you need to go, uh, how do you actually catch them, how do you know what I mean? Like if I'm starting out a skill, like when people say that, when I start out farming and people are like, oh you just do X tree, you know what I mean, you do this such and such. I'm like, well how the fuck do I do that though? I mean, really though, I, d I don't know anything about farming, like did I have to, what do I, what items will I need, where do I need to go to do that? And people just take it for granted in this game, way too much that you just, know everything it's like you, they just expect that the second you start playing runescape you're gonna you're gonna know everything and a lot of people kind of think if you don't know they get really angry with people like oh how can you not know you're such a noob and all this kind of stuff i just think to be honest if you don't know it probably just means you've got more of a life than that person it's actually a good thing that you're having to ask so if people want to ask me anything you can feel free i'm not going to look down on you because you don't know something about a fucking video game jesus christ that is the most sad thing that you can judge someone for it's like oh no dude you're too busy out there having a life to know about you know how to do such a such do that so lame it's like oh my jesus christ but anyway uh so yeah i'm gonna do some more guides well actually comment in this video if you want me to do that Probably will anyway. Uh, I mean, I do try and take into consideration what people say in regards to what videos I'm going to make. So it would be helpful. But I probably will make more guides anyway. Uh, maybe someone short, some shorter than, than this. But it was a long video because Hunter is one of the things not a lot of people know about Hunter. It's quite a hard like, skill to do, some people have been telling me. So it was something I wanted to cover in deep detail. Uh, as always, if you want to talk to me, just join my clan chat, uh, Macro1, um, I think you just have to type in, and you can add me if you want. I don't really have any friend space, as you can see, but I will try and add you. Uh, apart from that, you can join the proper clan if you want to, which message me, and you can come and meet me, and I'll invite you into that. The... Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is what I'm going to be doing on RuneScape. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. I don't know what it is I want to do on this game. But as soon as I find out, you'll find out kind of thing. If you want to leave me some suggestions of what you want me to do, that would be ace. Because, like I said, I don't know really what it is I want to do. And suggestions would be helpful. Um, I just, I don't know. I've come to a point where I feel like I've accomplished all the big things I wanted to do. And there's not too much else that I really want to do. So it might just be a case of doing little bits and bobs there on each skill that I want to for fun. 
Uh, now that I don't find going for 99's fun or whatever it is that I've wanted to do in the past, obviously I'm of the opinion if you don't like playing a game, you don't find it fun, don't play it. If I don't, when I don't want to play RuneScape, I don't play it. I'm not these people that forces myself to grind out 500k. It's like, no, no, that's fucking sad. If you're not enjoying it, get, go off, go do something else. Simple. Um, but yeah, the main topic of discussion of, in this video is going to be about the what's been going on in Britain. Well, England precisely, recently, what has been going on. For those of you that don't know, that are maybe in America, Canada, um, Australia, I think I've got some fans from there. Wherever you're from, if you're watching this video, I'm going to explain to you if you're not too sure what I'm even talking about. In England, over the past four days, what's happened is that there has been riots right in the major cities the big cities right in the center so where all you know like you've got towns where all the big shopping centers are and there's the big shops and the high streets that's what's be that's what's been going on riots and when i say riots i don't mean like you know kind of protest people walking around um with big placards and stuff what's been going on um well maybe that has been going on, but what's more being broadcasted and what has been captured on video and uh has kind of caught the the eye of everyone in the media is that a lot of people have been going around uh, in gangs and you know organizing stuff via Twitter and Facebook so it's all been organized very quickly you've got to understand that the police can't there's not much you can do against that kind of thing because you can organize it so fast that there's no way anyone will ever catch you they've been getting in big gangs and you know um, smashing up shops and looting them basically setting fire to stuff um, attacking people, robbing people. There was one guy that got his jaw broken, um, his bike stolen, and then the, and then people pretended to help him. So they they got him up and like, oh, are you all right, mate? And then they robbed him. They uh, looted his bag. It was they had in his back. Uh, so that's kind of a you know people have had their homes burnt. That are living in London near the central bit, their houses burnt down. Uh, Double decker buses have been set fire to. You know police have been assaulted. Uh, you know, and they've just been trying to do their job, and that's I, this is what I want to talk about. Uh, I want to know your opinions on it, and I'll explain why people are doing it. Uh, well, why they think they're doing it, and why. Well, the, the excuse that people are giving. I'll tell you why they're really doing it after. But the excuse that people are giving is that uh, they're they're rioting and protesting against the government because there's been cuts, and they feel that they don't. Uh, the government's treating them unfairly. We're, we're in like you know really they're all being really hard done to and they don't have enough money because of the government there's no jobs or anything like that. the economic climate's really bad and so their solution to this is to strike back at the government um and you know which they see as the authority and and the the culprits if you if you will for the economic downfalls in this country um and they're doing this via stealing back what they feel rightfully is theirs so that that 500 pound um you know tv that they they wanted that they can't afford because maybe they've lost their job recently because they've been let go because there's not enough work going they're now thinking oh well you know uh i i should i deserve that. that's rightfully mine if i had my job i'd be able to afford that so it's not really stealing if i go and you know smashing that shop window and take it and what's more there's no police around so i'll never get caught and I understand this, I understand the thinking, but what what they don't, I don't think that they're taking into consideration is that one, it's wrong, it's still stealing, two, there's loads of people that are out there that don't have jobs, that aren't behaving in this way, three, um, and this is a big one, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, really, you feel hard done to in this country, you feel hard done to in England, just just think to yourself for a moment, why really, compared to other countries, do you really think you're hard done to? Do you think that there's people in Africa, right, Haiti, or, you know, um, fucking Cuba, in these wars and shit, and Afghanistan, sat there thinking, you know what, um, you know, I tell you what, we've not got it so bad over here with all these wars and gunshots going off, you know, and, and natural disasters, you know, as people, uh, 
Uh, you know, guess, you know, with the people in Japan at the time, yeah, yeah, you know, it's really bad. Yeah, I feel sorry for those people in Britain. Yeah, you know, Dave the other day, yeah, Dave, he just got let off off his job, you know. He's, you know, he's only going to be able to live comfortably for another couple of months now. You know, he's, but yeah, he's going to, really? Oh, that's horrible. He must be feeling, yeah, I know he's got to sign on to the doll. Yeah, he has to walk five minutes to this, to this place and then sign in this little piece of paper and he gets free money. Really? Oh my God, I feel so sorry for him. I can't, I can't imagine what you must be going through. That is, that is honestly what you are do, saying to yourselves. That is fucking stupid. There are people, right, up in countries dying of starvation, uh, no water, wars, dictatorships, um, you know, natural fucking disasters, hurricanes, tornadoes. Wake the fuck up, people. There are real things going on out in the world, real big problems. Not a fucking downturn in the economy and you can't afford your £500 TV that you wanted. That is not a problem. That is a luxury. People need to differentiate between things that they need and things that they want. And stop lying to themselves. You don't need that TV. These people that are stealing things, I could, I could sympathise if the government cut off water supplies, cut off food supply, and these people desperately needed money, so they robbed Sainsbury's and took food. That, you know, if that was really going on and the government was doing that, I could condone it. But people, 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 they're stealing phones, they're stealing TVs and electrical goods. That's the main things that are being robbed, they said. Electrical stores and, and fucking clothes stores. You're telling me that, you know, oh, yeah, that's what that's what would really be stolen in an emergency. In a real emergency where a government was so corrupt, you think people are going to be going, oh, you know what? Yeah, all, the, all these bad shit. Oh. People are going to be like, you know what? You know what I need in this natural disaster? I need to get me a brown G-star belt. That's what I need to get me, a G-star belt. Come on, come on, people in Africa. Come on, people in Haiti. Come on, come on, people in Japan. Quickly, before, you know, before we die, let's go and get that pair of jeans that we always wanted. It's fucking disgusting, and it pisses me off. 98% of the British public have called for water cannons to be brought in. It'll take a day, and they're probably going to be coming in from Ireland. Um, for the international viewers and European viewers, if you don't know why that is... Uh, it'll be because Ireland has a lot of trouble itself, you know, Northern Ireland, Southern Ireland, they always fight, so they'll have cannons. Now, personally, water cannons, no, 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 no. Real cannons, that's what I want. I don't, there's, no, not just men doing this either, it's not just young males that you'll think, it's, it's fucking women as well. Loads of women doing it. And my opinion on that is, if a woman's gonna behave like a bloke, in a laddish manner, they <laughs> treat her like one. If women want equal rights to the same jobs as males, you know, and all that shit, then they can take an ass whooping like a man. Because that's equal rights, baby. You know what I mean? Chivalry went out with feminism, bitches. That's how I feel. And, you know, all this bullshit of, oh, we can't use the wall, can't you see it? No, of course we can. Fuck rubber bullets, real bullets. If your ass is caught in a store robbing it, I want their ass shot. I don't give a shit, right? You are robbing. You are being a dick. Those people burning down cars and people's houses, I want them shot. I don't want them living in my air. I don't want them breathing in the same air I breathe. I don't want them on the planet that I'm on. When there's real things going on in the world, real travesties and, and horrible things going on in the world, they have the gall to behave in this manner. No. No, uh oh. Not on my watch. If I was the prime minister, right, I would I would bring in the army, right. I seriously, I would have those people, fucking. They would not do it, because there would be a deterrent. My deterrent would be this: there is a curfew. Anyone on the streets at X time, right, um, will feel the full force of of the law, right. And if they are there, right, of a megaphone, it's a dude. You're in the street. I've said not to get home now. If they don't, bang, bang, bang. Right? That's what they get. It's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. has nothing to do with politics. has to do with the people being greedy. People by nature, humans by nature are greedy. I get that. We are. That's why we survived. It's why we're the most successful um, species in the world. You know? That's why. Because we are greedy. We want to, we want to go for, we want more and more and more. That's why we invent stuff. And a, a lot of that stuff's good. Medical cures, stuff like that. You know, new TVs, everyone likes a new TV, everyone likes a new laptop. That's cool. You know what I mean? But this is taking it way too far. 
way too far people and I think that a lot of I really want to do this video and say that if anyone watching this is in these cities Birmingham, uh, London, Manchester, York, anywhere like that and you you know and you, you are in this situation and you know you maybe have ha you've seen people who you know you're scared you know you've had anything damaged uh, my, you've got my full sympathy and I, I sh this is a video is a shout out to you guys uh, I can't imagine what you're going through where I live in Sheffield thank god there's not really been much going on and if I was walking down the street and I did see someone about to throw something through a building some scrawny 13 year old chav I'd beat the shit out of him right I would not I would I would be fucking asking the policeman to give me his baton so I could do the work for him right if that's what you need someone to come forward and take the blame for this unethical stuff like using a water cannon I'll be that person that takes a rap I'll be the person that comes forward and says yeah you can you know if it's unethical come and talk to me because I don't give a shit quite frankly right I'm one of these people, and people don't get it twisted. Don't don't come for me in this video. Like, oh, uh, he's you know, you sound like a right wing racist Nazi person. I don't give a shit about race, gender, anything, species. I don't give a shit. I treat everyone equally, right? I have no problem. I'm not the one that's saying. Uh, some people are saying, oh, it's all these black people doing it. No, it's not. It's white people. It's all people are doing this. You know, justice in crime, they know no gender, they know no race. They don't differentiate between that. Anyone can do it. Don't be so naive as to think it's just one set of people. And I understand a lot of people are using this kind of situation for vigilantes and they're going around beating up black people saying it's all them or burning mosques down. That's not the answer, people. I don't want people out in the streets like vigilantes that's not a good thing but maybe go out and support the police ask them if they need help stuff don't just take it into your own hands you know maybe yeah if you see someone about to throw a brick yeah lamp him but don't just go after them you know not unless you see someone in a shop robbing that's that's all i'd say but you know what i mean i just want to give a shout out to the people in the world maybe watching this that are going through some real shit to have real shit going on in their lives. Maybe, you know what I mean, something has happened in your, I don't know, a natural disaster, a little bit of an earthquake. There might just be specific to where you are. I know that there's a lot in America in places like that. Uh, little ones and hurricanes, whatever. But, honest to God. I had to cut it on here and, and vent because it's really irking me. What's been going on, really pissing me off that people behave and all the people on Facebook I know kids that are in my politics class some of them are so far left wing like oh you know the people are finally rising up and this is such a good thing I'm like rising up against what you're sitting here at home on your laptop complaining that says it all you're on a fucking laptop you can't complain pisses me off pisses me off so much but you know it's the problem when I I always thought this, eventually civilization will get so advanced that we'll start to be complacent and take things for granted, and we're just gonna want more and more and more. And uh, people are saying the world's gonna end in 2012. I don't maybe believe that, but I think probably will one day. We probably will destroy ourselves. I don't think it's gonna be a natural disaster like the Mayans. I think it's probably gonna be us because we're so fucking stupid. Some people that will be like, you know, in the year 2000 and whatever, when we're so fucking rich and when everyone's got everything, we'll be like, oh god, I can't have a Lamborghini. Oh, I'm so hard done to, and they'll go and nuke someone. Or because the technology with that advanced, we'll have maybe I don't know, fucking guns that vaporize people we might start vaporizing each other we'll probably extinct each other you know the comedy sketch of the dodos jumping down off a cliff that's probably what we're gonna be like you know what i mean it's probably gonna get to that point oh life that's it that's it my life's over i'm gonna kill myself you know i didn't get that ferrari that's literally how i see the world going i think people need to take a step back and realize what they've got and be thankful for that instead of complaining about what they don't have think about what you have these people can sign and slip in a doll center and get money. People, people in Africa can't do that. Do you think they? Do you think? How much, what do you think they'd give to be in that situation where they can do that? To have clean running water and a council flat. Give the left fucking leg. Sickens me. Fucking sickens me. What's happened, eh? What has happened? Another thing that's pissed me off about it, and this is, seems very trivial, but it's another thing yet again. Football was supposed to be on tonight. England versus Holland. Oh, a very prospectus, you know, cool looking match. I'm quite looking forward to that. It's being cancelled because of the writing.
Thanks a lot, writers. Oh, anyway, I'm going to get off here now before I wind myself up anymore. But um, subscribe if you want to. Like this if you agree with me or if you don't, leave your comments. Uh, you know, that's it. But just remember, people, people's, just think to yourself, if you're one of these people that's thinking about going out and protesting, how would you feel if your house had just been burnt down and people were outside threatening you? Think about that. Losing everything. Ugh, just burped. Losing everything. Right, just think about that. Everything in your house, not, not just the cool stuff, the stuff that means something to you. That, that photo of you when you went, when you first met your girlfriend or whatever. You know what I mean? The first photo of your little cousin being born, whatever that is, you know, anything like that, burnt down. Just think about that. This has been Macro One. Peace out, guys. On a final note, I just really want to add about this whole thing. If people are writing and don't like this country, fucking leave, dude. Secondly, think about the people that are in the shops that you're attacking. One of my, I've just uh, found out that one of my friends is in Manchester, where this has been happening, he's scared shitless, I've had him on the phone, so, it's fucking stupid people, look after yourselves.